Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on my February budget. This is the budget planner I use. I have the Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe, or is it, yeah, Deluxe Monthly. I get those messed up all the time. Mine is in the colorful version and I did get a hardbound cover with an embossed 2019. I know it's really hard to see, or at least on my viewfinder, I can never tell if you can see it, but you know, hopefully you guys can see it. But yeah, I put 2019 on there and it's the black cover with the silver coil. And yeah, January, we need to talk about January before. So okay, so like, let's do this. January was kind of crazy. So I will leave my January budget linked up in a card for you guys. But y'all, I had a lot of unexpected expensive. First thing that happened was I had sent a message to my hairstylist asking if she had any appointments available. Usually she's like backed up for like at least a month thinking, oh, this will be like in February. No, she was available in January. So anyway, I got my hair done. It was $95. Doyle, um, I was planning on doing, getting his nails done next month, but he ended up like cracking a nail. So I had to take him into the vet to get his nails done. And yes, I have to take him to the vet to get his nails done. He's just, it's a whole pro process. So anyways, so that was $28 and five cents. And then this big bad boy here, um, my furnace decided to stop working. So that was fun. And like, while I'm filming this, just to be totally transparent, it's negative 17 degrees outside right now in Minnesota. Yeah, it's really gross. So anyways, last week I got a new furnace installed, so everything's great. But yeah, la the weekend before last is when it died and there was the big problems. So anyway, use my emergency fund for this. It's the first time I've had to really use my emergency fund. Um, but I'm very thankful that I had the cash on hand. So that was awesome. And I'm so thankful that I have been following the Dave Ramsey plan for a while now. So that is making my mind more at ease. So now I am going to be in the mode of putting that $3,000 back in my emergency fund. Um, but the hair and the nails, um, I just cash flowed those items, but I wanted to just like talk to you guys about that. So anyway, so this was January and then let's go into February. So here's my February sheet. Oh, here's a little bit about me. If you guys are new to my channel, I obviously love decorative planning. My name is Emily. I'm single. I live in Minnesota, I have a dog, I don't have any children. I am currently, I guess now on baby step three, I'm back to baby step three because I'm gonna be funding that emergency fund back up. However, I'm still working on four and six. Um, baby step fives does not pertain to me because I don't have any kids. So, and I follow the Dave Ramsey plan and all that good stuff. My budget, to be honest, really doesn't change month to month unless I know something is coming up. So this month I was planning on putting in my hair and then Doyle's nail trim, but we're not gonna do that because that's already done. However, in April, I will, um, I already made an appointment, so I'm gonna be doing my nails, or not nails, <laughs> my hair then as well. So anyway, um, so I decided to go with like a pink and purpley kind of a thing this month. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna, I kind of took inspiration from this Erin Condren book like I did last month. I used some of these. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I thought that these were kind of cute. So you got some purple with some little cute flowers. I'm gonna use this, and this washi, unfortunately, does not um, cut well. So you actually have to cut it with a scissors, but that's all right. I will survive. But I like this glitter washi because it doesn't come off at all, so that's nice. I like that aspect of it. All right, and I'm gonna use one of these little heart ones kind of in the middle here. Cause you know, I'm all about using, use what you have. Oh no, that's not gonna stick. Oh, <laughs> total fail guys, total fail. All right, well, whatever. Um, all right, we're, we'll figure out something else. Okay, and then this I'm gonna put right down here. I thought that would stick. Apparently not. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna leave it blank then. That's fine. <laughs> All right. 
So let's put in um, all of my categories. So these are one of my favorite sticker sheets, um, Coffee Break Planner. I do have a discount code below if y'all are interested, but these are one of my favorite things. You see them in my plan with me's, you see them in most of my budgets. Um, the scalloped event boxes are just like one of my faves. It's like functional, but it still has a little something, you know, it all works. So let me put in some of my categories here. All right. So my budget, let's see if this will stick. Well, this sticks, what the heck? <laughs> oh well, all right, then I've got my bills and then I'll write those out and then I'll put in my cash. So let's speed this up. Everything is in and let me just go line by line and share with you guys just a little bit more. So here are all my bills. I get lots and lots of questions um, about my mortgage. My mortgage is $467.09. Um, a lot of people ask why it's so low. I will put up in a card for you guys my mortgage details. I actually ended up putting half down on my house. So that is why I have such a tiny mortgage. My HOA is the same every month at $158. My gas actually went down. I'm on this, it's not like a payment plan, but it's like a flex plan. So they just like average out for six months. And so um, it actually just went down. So it was $17 last month. And that's what I'm anticipating again for this month. But um, if it changes, I'll change it in March. Culligan is $31.85. I do rent a water softener unit. The original owner has had to change the water softener unit twice because um, I guess we have just like really um, hard water or something in my area. So anyway, I kept that and uh, they will replace the unit for free for me um, renting the unit from them and they come and actually change out the pellets and do service and stuff on it um, as well. My electric is usually about the same at $75. It's just an estimate normally for the winter time. My garbage is always the same. It's the garbage and recycling and it's $17.85. My water is also an estimate and that usually ranges between $40 and $50 a month, but um, I usually just put in $45. Auto insurance is $85.42 and my Netflix is $11.75. So we have a total of just regular bills of $908.96. Here's all kind of like my cash categories. The only thing I take out for cash is actually grocery and dining. Fuel, I don't do that. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, it's negative 17 degrees here today. So the idea of spending more time outside doesn't sound like a really fun idea. So I do use my debit card at the pay at the pump. And you know what? Most of the gas stations that I go to, some of them don't even allow you to pay cash. Like you always have to prepay now. So I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't take out any cash for fuel. I just put it in a different category because it kind of flexes. And I don't know about your area, but my area, um, fuel has been going down a little bit. So um, it actually hasn't been as much. So fuel, I usually budget about $250. And to be honest, it is what it is. And um, I know that last month I spent way less than that, but you never know when fuel prices are gonna go back up. My grocery, I usually budget about $250. That usually works for me really well. Dining, um, I do go out with coworkers and I have other you know, things to go to once in a while. And um, I usually budget about $150 a month. Sometimes I use it all, sometimes I don't. And so that gives my cash category $650. I don't really have anything extra pending this month. The other things I was gonna put in would be my hair and then Doyle's nails, but that got taken care of last month. So my total for the month of February is $1,558.96. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, I don't pay for my cell phone through this budget or my internet. Um, I have my own business. I have an LLC, so it gets paid through that and also medical expenses. I know I get a lot of questions on why I don't have my cell phone in here or why I don't have my Wi-Fi. That is why. So I pay for that through my business because it's all used for my business. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like these budgets, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe 
subscribe if you would like to see more from me. I do lots of other content, so you can feel free to check out my channel. If you ever have any video suggestions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. I will link everything that I can find that I used down below as well for you guys. Hope you are having a wonderful day, and I hope you have a wonderful February budget. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you